Hi, we are team NPK from IIT Madras. This project is made for the annual hackathon organized by the Department of Electrical Engineering in IIT Madras. Our team comprises of three members, Chaitanya Peddavad, Abhishek Narvekar and Amit Kudkarni. The problem statement for the project is to analyze a pre-recorded sample of audio and to tell if it contains speech or not. Now, while heading towards a solution, we must ask ourselves, what is it about human speech that makes it different from other sounds? Firstly, we must note that it contains frequencies which are largely in the range of 200 to 1600 hertz. Secondly, we observe that most of the duration of speech is taken up by vowels. Vowels are pronounced in a continuous manner, let's say A or E. Even the pronunciation of consonants ends in vowels, example B or C. On the other hand, noises tend to be more discreet in nature, like this. It lasts for a shorter duration and contains mostly higher frequencies as compared to voice. We make use of these properties in our algorithm. Moreover, these non-speech signals generally tend to have higher frequencies. So before analyzing them, we need to filter out these unnecessarily high frequencies because they can't possibly contain voice. Apart from these high frequencies, there may be some persistent background noise like hissing and humming present throughout the duration of the audio. We also need to filter them out before we begin our analysis. After this pre-processing on audio file, let's see how the algorithm to tell apart speech from non-speech actually works. We first divide the entire signal, which is nothing but a collection of samples, into smaller subgroups of frames. Then we analyze the energy content of each frame and this is how the energy profile will look. As we saw earlier, the energy content in speech part of the signal is higher compared to the noise. So these peaks might correspond to the speech. So to see which part of the signal can be speech, we set a clever threshold for the energy content of the frame and conclude that the frames with energy exceeding this threshold can contain speech. But one problem here is that even some non-voice signal may momentarily have a high amplitude and it may exceed the threshold that we have set. Such frames may be present in our list that we have obtained. So we need to check if the energy is consistently above the threshold. If it is so, for some specified number of frames, then we can conclude that the audio contains voice. Now let's see how we implement these things. First part in implementation would be pre-processing the audio. So for this, we used an open source utility named SOX or Sound Exchange. We analyzed the initial silent part of the signal for any persistent background noises and then removed it from the entire signal. Now we pass it through a low pass filter of bandwidth 1.4 kHz and that will take care of all the high frequency noises. Next part is dividing the signal in smaller frames. For this, we divide the audio into about 100 frames per second. Considering the commonly used sampling frequency, a frame width of 500 samples is reasonable. Next part is setting the energy threshold. After we experimented on various samples, we found out that most optimal results are obtained by setting the threshold to be average energy of the frames. And this average is taken after eliminating the first silent part of the filtered signal. In this section, we form subsets of adjacent frames that have energies higher than the threshold. If the largest of these subsets has more than n frames in it, we conclude that it is a speech signal. Through experimentation, we found out the optimal value of n to be 14 for CD quality audio that corresponds to 44.1 kHz frequency. For the other sampling rates, this value can be tweaked proportionately. Let's quickly run this algorithm for a sample. Let me show you the sample first. Password for today is modern LS. So as we can see, this sample contains speech as well as some background noise. And let's run this algorithm and see what the results are. It's asked me for the path and file name. So there you go. We obtain a graph. We see the signal in blue and light blue is the threshold that we decided upon. The part enveloped by red is the speech detected by this algorithm. In case there is no speech, there won't be any envelopes in the signal. If there is no envelope, that means there is no speech. 
So as we can see, this algorithm correctly finds out the regions with speech in it. So if we run this algorithm for an, a sample which doesn't contain any speech, we won't see any envelope here. Let's see an example where there is no speech in the signal, it's only noise. Okay, I'll run this code. I'll first show you the sample. As you can see, it contains only claps and no speech. So I'll run this algorithm for it. I'll provide the path and file name. As we can see in this graph, the signal is in blue. Light blue is the threshold and red line does not envelop anything. That means no speech was detected by the algorithm. Let's move on to the results now. So the algo we just described detected all speech signals properly with and without voice being present. However, there are cases where this algorithm detects false positives. These are the cases which contain loud and persistent noise at a low frequency. We are working on the algorithm to improve this deficiency. Thanks for watching.